Welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to set up guest Wi-Fi on an OpenWRT device and connecting that to an external captive portal for user engagement and collecting your guest's data for marketing purposes. Let's head over to our OpenWRT device and start configuring it. The first thing that we need to do is we need to go to network wireless and we need to enable wireless access. Let's wait for the configuration changes to be applied. After that, we need to go to firewall and uh, we need to go to traffic rules and we need to create a rule for allowing SSH access from the WAN side. The source zone would be WAN and the destination zone would be the device and destination port would be 22. Let's click on save and apply. We need to create this rule because after we enable captive portal services on the router, it will not be manageable from the LAN side. So this rule is what allows our router to be accessible from the WAN side. Let's note down the WAN IP address of uh, this router. It's uh, 192.168.100.108. I'm already connected to the 192.168.100 network, so I should be able to access it using SSH. Here we need to first run this command, opkg update to update the packages and then we will install the Kuwa Chili package which is uh, what provides captive portal services on the OpenWRT router. Along with Kuwa Chili, I am also installing uh, Nano Editor. Uh, I am not really a fan of the Vim Editor, so Nano makes it easy to work with configuration files of Kuwa Chili. After the packages have been installed, we need to edit the configuration file of Kuva Chili. There are a few options that we need to modify in this file. The first one is we need to comment out this option, option disabled one. Then we need to go down uh, until we reach the radius section and we need to enter the, enter the IP address of our radius server. I don't have a secondary radius server at the moment, so I'll comment out the, the option for, for the secondary radius. And we need to enter the radius secret, which incidentally in my case is testing 1, 2, 3. But you should definitely be using a stronger secret. We'll go down to DHCP parameters and here we'll change the interface to VRLAN. And then we will go down to the UM section and enter the host name of our external capture portal. In addition to that, we need to enter the UM secret, which is uh, what is used to secure the communication between the uh, captive portal server and the Kuva Chili package. Let's save and exit. Now we need to restart Kuva Chili service for the new settings to be applied. I will share a list of all the commands that I am running along with the procedure for setting up the external captive portal and uh, the radius server in the description below. Let's see if the configurations that we have made have been applied successfully. So we can run this command to see the configurations and uh, everything looks fine. So let's head over to our device to test the external captive portal. Now I'm going to connect to the OpenWRT SSID to test the captive portal service. After connecting, the option for accessing the captive portal should pop up soon. So let's wait for it. So it's asking us to sign into the network and uh, it's taken us to the external captive portal that we had specified in the configurations. So here we are going to enter the information that it's asking for. And it says that we have been authorized and it's taken us to google.com. So now let's access our database to see if the entries that we made 
have been populated in the database. And here it's showing the, the data that we entered. So based on this, we can um, engage our customers and extract their uh, information that we can later on use for marketing purposes. I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. If you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, thanks and have a nice day.